Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Nerna or in or whatever you want to call me. If this is your first time coming to my channel, welcome to my channel. My name is Nerna and I am currently studying here in South Korea at Hanyang University majoring in Business Administration. In today's video, I want to interview my international friends from India, Indonesia, Vietnam, Kazakhstan and to know more, uh, as well as America, uh, to know more about how they think about Korea and study in Korea and what their insights like we want to know their insight like what they think about studying Korea so I decided to interview them and ask a few questions so without further ado let's get to the video hi Jenny. Oh, hi. hi hi hello hello Usang Anyang. Anyang. <laughs> <Unni>. <laughs> Hello everyone, um, my name is Janish, I'm from India, <clears throat> currently studying second year business um, in Hanyan University. Uh, my name is Sulu and uh, I came from Kazakhstan, which is in Central Asia. And now it's my first year, I'm a freshman in Korea University. I study media and communications. Hello, 저 이제 아 컴퓨터 공학부 2학년을 재학 중인 이우성이랍니다. 네. Hi everyone, my name is um Kasatiano Ranif. Um I go by Hani in Korea and now I'm a freshman in Korea University School of Media and Communication and I'm from Indonesia. My name is Lucas. Um I am from the United States. Uh, my home university is Arizona State University. Uh, in Korea, I go to Hanyang University. My major is business with an emphasis in global politics and a minor in sustainability. And I'm currently a junior or a third year student. In the beginning, I actually came here as a tourist. And when I came here, uh, I could see uh, they are really nice and and the country is really nice and, and their um, study culture is really good <clears throat> plus i really impressed by their uh, businesses like their growth of businesses here and they had really uh, great achievements even though they are like they had very short time to grow and so they had really like uh, a huge growth from in short time so i thought they are really hard working people and with talent so i thought it would be good for me to learn from Korea. People uh, <coughs> think that like Korea is really fancy and, and stylish. Uh, of course, yeah, I know. Uh, they have like kind of gay things like <laughs> pop and uh, beauty and many things. Of course, I like it. But uh, one of the most impressive thing for me is their uh, hardworking character and their um, never giving up spirit. Uh, so first of all, I was like a really huge fan of K-dramas. I watched like thousands of K-dramas and I fell in love with Korean. That's why in 2016, I went to like Korean language school to study like myself. And it intrigued me how like how many opportunities you can have, like having scholarship, having exchange programs. So I was like serious about that. But during high school, it was really hard to like do like your high school stuff and do like also Korean activity. So I just like volunteered at our Korean culture center. And that's what made me motivated to like study more about Korean culture too. So when I was in my like last year of high school, I decided like why not try to go to your like dream country where you know a lot of like about food, about like culture, and yeah, I applied to GKS program and gladly I was in. So yeah, I came here. I was in the school and 유학하면 좋겠다 그런 생각을 그 해가지고 그때 딱 어, 어느 나라에 가는지 그를 정해야 되잖아 그때는 내 안쪽에 생각하는 거는 항상 생각해 두는 거는 내가 아시아 나라 갔으면 좋겠다 그런 생각을 갖고 있었어 왜냐면은 내또 
문화 잔벽도 있기도 하고 그러니까 그때도 한국 문화에 빠져가지고 이제 한국으로 가는 거를 가는 길이 선택했어요. Let me trace back to my middle school days because like I've been interested in Korean culture, especially like um, K-pop and K-drama since I was like in middle school. So from there, um, my, you know, my daily life, my everyday life is just so, you know, I'm surrounded with the Korean culture because I watch a lot of K-dramas and listen to a lot of K-pop. So I started learning Korean um, since I was in like my last year of middle school. And from there, I decided to study in Korea since I was like, when I was like in the ninth grade of middle school, I decided that, okay, maybe in the future, I have to go to a university in Korea. Um, but that time, you know, k p o p is not really a thing. Like, it's just, well, some people know that. But then when I, went, when I was in high school, I saw really... you know really rapid development of korean culture and also like korea itself in terms of like economy and culture i'm i was also really active in film club so i think wow there, there's a correlation between my interest and the development in korea right now so maybe i have to learn i have to like develop my skills in korea because it is the really um like a perfect environment for me to grow my skills and now i'm here in korea it's also because the quality of K-pop music videos, as you all can see, it's really top-notch. It's really high quality. So I really want to, you know, dive deep into the industry so that I can learn first firsthand from the industry. I wanted to go to Asia generally. Like in my head, I really, really wanted to go to like somewhere in Southeast Asia, or like because um, I guess one really interested two, roots-wise, um, but. Uh, the programs that they had for Southeast Asia were really like in the rural areas and I was like oh I'm not sure and so then they're like oh you know but we have programs in Korea and it would be in Seoul and I thought that would be really really cool to go to Seoul I'm like oh my gosh it'd be in a really big city and then also I heard so many like things about Korea like it being you know a very large economy the computer chips, something that I've been really interested in. And then on top of that, you know, I just thought it'd be really, really cool. And then um, my friend too, she wanted to come with me. And so she was like, oh, let's go to, let's go to Korea. So I was like, all right, I'm fine with that. And also I heard the business programs in Korea are really, really good. So I was like, okay, that's going to be amazing. Yeah, of course. Uh, <clears throat> for me, uh, I started my academic life with Korean language study, uh, you know, uh, so when I was studying Korean language in Hanyan University, it was not Corona period. So I enjoyed actually the, from the weather and uh, the food and the style of the university, everything. Corona, you know, everything we got to do online. So even though it's quite disappointing, uh, but still I enjoy like, you know, the study and also I enjoy many uh, <laughs> restricted but outings, uh, uh, outings and foods and, and the people here. Uh, once you uh, clo get close with them, uh, they really take care of you. So you feel like home. Yeah, I really love it. Yeah, like in terms of academics, of course, Korea is like uh, sometimes hard because you have to like learn more. And since I'm not like native speaker in English or Korean, sometimes it's hard to understand. But Korean professors, they're really welcoming and they always try to support you. They always are like, you can ask questions, you can stay after classes. So that's what motivates me most about it. And also, I think finding international friends or Korean friends isn't that hard because everybody tries to understand your position and tries to help you. I arrived in Korea uh, last year. April last year, 2020, Corona, when Corona started in Korea. So there's always a plus minus to it. So at first, of course, it was hard because of the language. Um, there's language and culture barriers. So if you want to connect with people, if you want to, you know, just like, as simple as buying something in the supermarket, when I really have to talk in Korean with Korean people, it's, it's really hard. Some people just don't understand what I'm saying. So at first it was really hard, especially when it comes to academic, um, the terms and, you know, the vocabularies are much more difficult. So it really affects my studying experience. 
I started attending Korea University this year. So last year I attended UI University, but then I changed my major and changed my university. So this year, um, from spring semester, I'm attending School of Media and Communication, Korea University. At first, I was I thought I was gonna fail my first semester because it was really hard. It was really different with UI University. The workload is really packed. But then, yeah, eventually um, I got a quite high mark, and I participated in various non-academic activities. So in Korea, there's a lot of opportunities. Like Nurina Onni also participated in a lot of yeah. <laughs> like ambassador programs, right? Mm-mm. So yeah, I've started um, participating in that kind of activities. So there's a lot of activities outside school that you can participate in which you can, you know, just expand your um, hor- horizon and you can connect with a lot of people from all around the world. So I think this year is like the best year for me. I got to meet a lot of friends from around the world. I got to participate in a lot of activities and I'm still um, doing well in at, at school. So yeah. 지금까지는 솔직히 그때 어학 연수했을 때는 너무 즐겁게 했고 놀기만한 것 같아서 여기 이제 이제 전공하러 다른 학교 왔잖아 그때는 아 이게 대학 다니는 느낌이구나 싶고 공부 조금 어려워지고 어, 약간 쉴 틈도 점점 점점 없어지고 이제 놀 시간도 없어진 것 같기도 하고 재밌긴 하지 제 재밌긴 재밌어. 왜냐면은 다른 언어로 공부하는 게 나한테 좀더 약간 욕심이 나는 나기도 하고 그리고 약간 항상 그런 생각을 하면서 노력하는 것 같아. 할만 해요. 그거는 이거 사람 따라 사람 따라 그 할만하지. 내가 나한테는 아 한국어 너무 좋고 그러니까 내가 아 얼마나 힘들어도 노력할 수 있다. 그런 마음 you know i think i'm really enjoying myself like i mean of course it would be like probably 10 times better if there wasn't a pandemic but i mean i'm sure everything would be better if there wasn't a pandemic but i mean it's been really cool so far because you know i've been able to explore a bunch of uh, cafes i've still been able to go on campus and still like look around which is something that you know, at my home university, I wasn't able to do for a little bit. So it's been really refreshing. Even though classes right now are like online, it's, um, I've been still really enjoying myself, you know, making sure to like go out there and still explore the city and like find different study spaces. And yeah, so far I've been really, really enjoying like the student life here. Like I've liked the whole vibe of Seoul so far. I like how everything is connected by train so it's kind of really easy to go around and yeah i mean i i guess it's just i've been really enjoying myself here so far so i can say it's not a impossible thing uh, as long as uh, you can study a little bit korean uh, it will be easy for you and they also provide a lot of english classes uh, english track so if you're good in english and you can follow up easily and my advice is if you study Korean very well, it will be helpful for you to follow up in the, the Korean classes, like mandatory classes you have to take. Uh, so it's really, uh, for me, uh, uh, it's not an impossible thing, but you can follow up if you are uh, good at Korean. Yeah. Mm, and one more thing is like they provide a lot of um, practical classes, mm. practical uh, classes, so which makes, uh, which it's not only depending on your uh, language skills, but also your, um, you know, your performance in the practical uh, way. Yeah. So it makes uh, more reliable. Yeah. It makes more. Yeah. Mm. Okay. So it's actually, it actually depends on how you manage your time, actually. So I would say that workload wise, it's quite hard to keep up if you don't manage your time well. It's tiring, but it's doable. So as long as you can manage your time well, it's it's doable. For example, on my first semester, it really drained me physically and mentally. I thought that I was gonna really fail this semester because there is this one subject that, like, it's in Korean, it's, and I really thought that it's I'm just gonna you know I'm just gonna fail this class. But then I eventually got a pretty okay score. In Korea, we we'll only have well approximately one and a half months. So like half of the semester is only one and a half month. Um, so I really recommend that 
if you study in Korea or if you want to study in Korea, I really recommend that you always take notes and review your notes every weekend so that you not fall behind, you know. There's also like exams in Korean, exams in English, but as long as you study well for it, you can do it well. Then how's the classes? Like, do you understand it well or is it hard to understand because of the language or I don't know, because of the topic itself? Yeah, the classes... Uh, I took Korean and English classes. Actually, it's, it's not about the language, actually. I think it's more to the materials. So it's quite hard to understand the materials at first. But, well, like I said before, if you really study well, if you keep on reviewing your notes, then, yeah, you'll be good. Uh, I think if you manage your time well, I think it's possible. But for example, comparing to last semester, I had like 17 credits. Now I have 19. So for me, this semester is like very busy. And uh, I think we have a lot of like readings, which are very like academic based. And that's what like the hardest part is understanding. And then just like writing like a paper is fine for me. And I think if you just listen to professors well, they're explaining everything from like beginning to bottom. So I think it's fine if you just study during the lessons themselves. 수업은 우리 전공 수업이 다 영강, 영어로 하는 강의인데. 네. 어, 어, 약간 수업을 그냥 강의역을 좋아하시면은 그 교수님 따라갈 수 있는데. 어 아니면은 그냥 교재랑 PPT 읽고 어 기출 문제 푸는 거 공부하는 거지. I wouldn't say it's hard to keep up with the classes. It's just I have to be very diligent with, you know, my time because I mean, of course, since it is online classes, it's very easy to just kind of get lost, you know. And just like, oh, wait, I forgot this deadline or, oh, I didn't know this and that. And like, um, I know when I first came, I was really, really concerned about um, being able to keep up because even though, yes, it's English speaking courses, it's still a whole different education system that I've never had experience with. But I mean, it was surprisingly really similar to my home university setup. So I was like, oh, wow, the LMS Canvas system my school uses Canvas too. I don't know if that's like a universal school thing. Maybe, I don't know, but it was like exactly the same. So I was like, oh, this is perfect. But with the classes like pace wise, like a lot of the professors have been very like diligent and asking like, is there anything we can do for like you guys? Like, is the class okay? Like, please let me know if I'm going too fast. And um, I really like how, like, most of my professors post the lectures or they're very, very open about, you know, if you need help or if you need me to explain anything further, like, please don't hesitate. Like, I've never been felt like I'm in a position where I was like, oh, I couldn't talk to my professor, which I really, really like. And when it comes to exams, um, well, one of my classes I'm taking right now is finance. So that was... That wasn't because of the class that was, or the professor, that was mainly because of the subject. So yeah. I thought that was a little bit difficult, but I mean, it's finance. Um, and that's not particularly my expertise. So I was like, okay. But um, my other classes, I would say I've been pretty good so far. Like um, my international business class, I feel like I did really good on that test. So I think it's just been a mixed bag. I've been able to keep up so far, so it's been... Pretty good, especially with the classes at Hanyang. Oh, of course, yeah. So it, this uh, uh, this problem is uh, long discussed before, and I can say uh, it's changing a lot. Yeah, now Korean students are liking foreigners very much, and they wanted to learn and uh, be uh, close with foreign people. If you know Korean, you can more. Uh, get close to them uh, because many people i guess uh, because of language barrier they don't want to uh, like have, have french with you but if you know korean or if you find any common ground with them and they yeah really they are good friends yeah i have many korean friends here and they are really kind and yeah they are really kind and humble and i love them and in the beginning maybe it will be hard about uh, once you're learn their culture and once you uh, learn their language and all things and it will be easier for you and it will go along with 
it actually depends on the person. I would say that maybe at first, especially if you if you can't speak Korean, it would be hard to make Korean friends. But if you can speak Korean, but you still you're still like facing hardships to make friends or uh, make Korean friends or be friends with Koreans, I think it it's more. It's more to the person. Like it, it, it depends on the person. So, for example, I have like four Korean friends from Ehua University, and they are all very kind, very bright, very brilliant. And so, some of them can't even speak English、um, fluently. So, I think it's not about the language, but it's more about like the personality. Whether the person is like open to foreigners, and it, all, it also depends on us too. If we don't want to understand them, if we don't want to see things from their point of view, and if we don't want to learn their their culture, then it's it will be much harder for us to approach them. It depends on your like Korean level, right? Korean people are not really. Good with like talking in English because they're shy about it. So if you know Korean well, I think you'll find Korean friends easily. But for me, I came with like almost beginner level, so it was like really hard to communicate at first. And then there is a time, of course, especially like at campus, you can find a lot of friends which have like similar tastes to you. Especially if you volunteer, I suggest to go volunteering because there are a lot of friendly, outgoing people there, and yeah. I think I found most of my friends there. 아까 말하는 그런 문화 장벽도 있는데 이게 한국에서는 어, 특히 우리 학교는 외국인 학생보다는 한국인이 절반이고 음, 절반이 아니라 그냥 대부분이지 이제 그래서 한국어를 못하면은 어, 친구 사귀기 좀 어려운 거고 왜냐면은 이제 음, 우리 학교는 솔직히 일일이긴 한지 하지 근데 영어 잘하는 친구는 아예 없어. 진짜요? 음, 음 외국에서 고등학교, 중학교 다니고 온 사람 빼고는 다른 네. 사람이 좀 어, 없는 것 같기도 하고 그래서 한국어 잘하면은 솔직히 친구가 사귀는 거 가능해. 친구들이 다 친절을 하고. 솔직히 우리 한국어가 좀 틀렸는데 그다 알아들어서 그냥 고쳐주고 그런 사람도 많고 약간 너가 외, 외국이니까 너한테 아, 너랑 놀기 쉬, 싫다 그런 사람이 아예 나 나는 만난 적도 없어. I would say generally speaking, um, you know, with the whole pandemic, I haven't really been able to go. You know, we're not in classes, so it's like. I usually just hang out with my friend that I came with here, and so I haven't really mingled a lot. One person I made a friend who was Korean. They were actually originally from the same state I was in the U.S., so it was like we kind of had that little moment to bond.、Um, but I would say like people who were like born and raised in Korea, I haven't really made any friends with. But I fully kind of expected that since I was only here for like four months. Generally speaking, like I mean, I think. People here have been really friendly. Like I haven't been in any situation where I thought, "Oh, I don't, you know, care for this." Of course, everybody's different. Everybody has their moment, you know. I don't know. It's just like generally, I've had a very warm, friendly welcome. Like anytime I've talked to anybody or like going to like restaurants, anytime I do interact with somebody, it's been really nice. There have been like a couple incidences where it's like I've been at stores and I've gotten free stuff where they're just like, "Oh, do you just want this?" And I'm like. Oh my goodness! Thank you. Like this one time, I went to go get an egg sandwich, and I was talking with the lady, and she gave me free orange juice, and I was like, "Oh, this is I love it!" <laughs> like you know, I'm like, "Oh my goodness! Thank you so much." In case of Korea, I really like their、um, attitude of respect.、Uh, so wherever you go, uh, they uh, they welcome you and they wish you.、Uh, so when you、uh, leave the place, and they like send you off with、um, some greetings and. So those things makes like、uh, um, we are not just、uh, alone, and all the, the country is with us, something like that. In Korea, wherever you go, for example, like convenience store, Pyeongchon, and they will they will like invite you and wish you、uh, with, and when you go out, they will like greet you. So、mm -hmm. those kind of things, their their attitude of、like, welcoming and their、uh, humbleness. I really like it. Yeah, I really、mm -hmm. like.、It. If I don't like something, what else? 
Um, maybe the uh, weather. <laughs> <laughs> oh, why, why, why is it the weather? <laughs> uh, sometimes it gets uh, really dusty and oh, and yeah, and you get cold very easily. In winter, it's like no mercy winter or something like that. <laughs> yeah. So, so for a guy from from India or those places, uh, the hot places would definitely suffer for at least a month <laughs> uh, but it, it, it won't last for like lifelong but you will be get used to it in uh, two years yeah um, one thing I like about Korea is everything so organized so quick and on time I think it differs depending on which part of Korea you're living in because I live in Seoul so everything is very quick very organized very pali pali on time like for example the bus and like the payment system you can just pay with your phone you don't need your card you don't need card so yeah that's one thing i like about like korea one thing i just like i just realized this now is that the way they address foreigners as foreigners and because like foreigners in foreigners in korea is weigujin okay way is means out or like outside cook is like country so like outside of korea an indian's person so like someone from outside korea and i think it's i don't know i just don't like the term because it kind of like creates this <laughs> us and them yeah creates this like barrier and and us and them culture for example when you're in the you're in an event or something and most majority of the participants are korean and you're the only foreigner then they will address you as like a foreigner like when they call you they don't call you by name they call you by like oh we're cooking like this way cooking that way cooking so it's like we're just being like i don't know, like homogenized the biggest thing i like is i think korean food i fell in love with korean food and every time i go like somewhere there is not korean food i want to eat rice i want to eat kimchi and it drives me crazy how i got attached to this like culture the one thing i don't dislike uh, i don't like <laughs> yeah i don't like that sometimes korean people are kind of having this distance between like uh like we are koreans and this is like international students so that's what makes difficult to approach like some people of course not everybody but sometimes there is like a difference for example i met some of my like some seniors from university and some of them they're like oh, okay we can talk but still we have this like distance between us and it may be like uh, uncomfortable for some people who are shy to approach korean people because sometimes it can happen that they're like not very talkative with you 한국 사람들이 항상 신선한 거 그거는 좋아하고 그리고 약간 상대방이 한국인이 그때는 시간이 있으면은 나한테 내, 내가 도와 도와 달라는 거다 해주는 편이 없고 내가 딱히 그렇게 좋아하지 않은 그런 특징이 뭐냐면 이제 한국인들이 다 너무 경쟁이 너무 높아서 이제 나도 이제 아 눈치 보면서 아무것도 할 때도 아무거나 할때 그때는 눈치 보면서 하는 거고 그래서 그거는 싫어하는 것 같아. And there's a lot of things, so that's the issue. I'm, I'm trying to like pinpoint probably the food. I'd say the food is maybe my top. Me personally, I really like chilies and garlic and like really bold flavors. So the fact that I came here and I see sacks of garlic and chili everywhere, I feel at peace. <laughs> like, you know, and I'm like, and Korean food is so good. In the U.S., it's significantly more expensive than here, which is what I really like. Because especially where I'm from, Korean food is often inflated a lot in price. So it's like, I don't really get to enjoy it that often unless it's like a special night out or like, I'm like, all right, I'm prepared to spend a lot of money. So it's been really nice to be able to go to a restaurant and get something I can like spend like what, like I would say $6 USD and it's like, it's a lot of food and it's very delicious. I would say something that I equally really like is about how it's like in the city, there's so many like historical sites, but it's all amongst like really, really tall buildings. Cause I really like all the skyscrapers. I really like walking downtown. It's like my favorite thing. And I like how everything's like really a lot of nature. 
so it's been really cool to like walk around and see all the skyscrapers and like like the river stream that they have like downtown i really like that that's like my favorite place recently uh, i mean even though they are like you know by size and population they are small they are really competing with a lot of uh, giants uh, in from the other country you know and so once you get chance to uh, uh, learn something i mean if you, if you try to visit uh, korea i would really recommend you to study in korea because you can learn uh, many things uh, more than your like academic syllabus yeah i mean you, you get chance to work with people and like projects and many companies really offer you many like internships to work with and and korea really encourage students to take responsibility uh, in many things like programs and projects and one more thing i really wanted to recommend you is if you wanted to study in korea start from korean language yeah, so mm -hmm. Uh, even though you study 10 years or 20 years and work for many years if you don't know korean it, i'm not i don't think it's going to make a lot of sense uh, i say if you learn korean it will make you perfect <laughs> my recommendation is you can study in korea and you should study korean <laughs> uh, for your sake yeah for your sake yeah yeah i noticed i noticed it's been a lot more competitive compared to the past several years based on my experience so i'm just gonna i'm just gonna give words of encouragement based on my experience so first thing you have to do is that i hope you know yourself first like you really have to know your motivation like why you want to come here so you really have to go back to your roots and ask yourself questions because it's not easy here. It's not easy here. So as for me, even though um, I like K-pop and I like Korean culture, I have no expectations when I came here. So when I came here, I just thought that, well, I came here to study. So I don't have this kind of fantasy like I will, you know, beat my idols on the streets. Like even until now, even up to this point, I haven't met them. The time it gets hard here and the time um, the reality just doesn't match your like the Korea in your mind, it will be really hard for you. So I will really suggest that you ask yourself questions and really know your motivation to go here. Um, second one is that when you already when you're already here, I hope you really persevere and persist in doing everything everywhere actually, not in Korea, but especially in Korea because the the environment is just like the system is just so competitive. Like the people are just so competitive so i hope you you just persist in reaching your dreams and achieving your goals i know that the process before coming here might be hard but just know that as long as you um keep being hopeful as long as you persevere i'm sure that you will you know eventually you will reach your dreams and be here studying in korea i feel like some people say that korea isn't like a drama but i feel like in many parts it is like it's very beautiful it has a lot of beautiful natural places like sea or like mountains and that's what like made me energized when i'm feel stressed like because of the studies and i think coming to korea was a really great experience in like finding different friends from like all over the world so i think if you're interested in this like global opportunity you should come to korea because it's like very beautiful very yeah good country I would say to someone who wants to study in Korea, be prepared for like a culture shock without realizing you're getting a culture shock, I would say. Because like, at least for me, when I came here, it wasn't so much that I was so, whoa, oh my gosh, I feel so, you know, different out of nowhere. It was more like I came in like, not underwhelmed, but like I didn't have the reaction that I thought I had. But then on the inside, I was very, oh, oh, I'm in Korea. And like, it took a really long time. And then there was a lot of ups and downs where it was like, you know, 
a little bit of homesickness, but then it was more trying to adjust to my surroundings. So I would say probably just make sure to always check on your mental health and always just make sure that you're like, you know, having fun. Because I mean, yeah, you're here for school, but I mean, it's like also, when are you ever going to find yourself in Korea again? Like, especially if you're only here for a couple months and in a pandemic, it's like it's been really difficult to travel internationally. So just always make sure that, you know, check your mental health have fun and make sure to go out and explore and don't be afraid to try new things because it's always really fun make sure to properly pack there's so many things that when i came here i was like i should have brought my coat i should have brought this you know because i'm very much a i like to pack the night before because i like the pressure of it but this was one of those things where oh well i'm not taking a domestic flight i'm going halfway around the world i should have been smarter yeah Wow. 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 Thank you. Wow. Encouragement, Nicole. So that's all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoy listening to my friends from almost all around the world. Very global, very international. Uh, I have a lot of international friends here in Korea and I love to hear what they think about studying Korea and I want, we want to know their insights and not only just me from Malaysia but we also have from Indonesia, Kazakhstan, India, Vietnam as well as America. So it's really nice to know about their insights here. Um, studying here in Korea, whether it's Korean language program, whether it's exchange student program or like just under undergraduate degree program, it's a really really good insight to know from like this different perspective from different people from different <laughs> countries. But yeah, thank you again for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe this channel and like this video if you enjoy this video and follow me on my Instagram as well as watch all of my other videos in my channel to know more about studying Korea. Just go click my YouTube channel and you can watch all of Korea related or study in Korea related videos. Watch all of those as well to know more about study here in Korea. But yeah, thank you again for watching guys. Bye bye.